The lack of diversity on Ferguson's police force is shining the light on police departments around the country. News reporter Brandon Richard is live to show us how diverse Tulsa's police force is. Brandon. Well, Max, Tulsa's police force more reflective of the community as a whole, but TPD admits it's still some more work to do. Diversity on Tulsa's police force isn't just a slogan or some far distant dream, according to Officer Leland Ashley. Uh, our chief, uh, uh, I, I think I can confidently say that he's about, uh, you know, having a department that reflects our entire community. The department's annual report shows that reflection, or at least where it stands. When it comes to gender, it shows just 20% of workers within TPD are women, even though women slightly outnumber men in Tulsa. But according to data from the U.S. Justice Department, that 20% figure actually puts Tulsa towards the top of a list of cities with the highest percentage of women in law enforcement. Tulsa's percentage also higher than the federal government's. When it comes to race, nearly a quarter of TPD's employees are minorities. And the breakdown among racial groups generally reflects the overall population, with the exception of Hispanics, who make up 14% of the population, but only 3% of the department. It's low, but we're working on that. Uh, really, I mean, because the, the key is Hispanic is one of the fastest growing population here in Tulsa. And while diversity remains a central goal, TPD also wants workers of any race who meet the qualifications and are interested in serving. And keep in mind, you must have a bachelor's degree in order to join TPD as an officer in most minority communities. That means less than 20% would qualify. In the 2 News Center, I'm Brandon Richard.